All right, I'm gonna start my chicken tractor, and uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna build this a little differently than the way I usually build stuff since I'm I'm having so little time off. I actually only have a half a day off today. I gotta go to work this afternoon, so uh, I'm gonna use the assembly line process of building this. I'm just gonna get all my pieces cut, and uh, I'm gonna start with these. Uh, gussets braces corner braces and uh, I need 40 of them and they're all going to be one foot long so uh, what I did was just put a vice grip here that's my one foot mark from here to there where it'll be cut and then I'll cut my 45s on them I could cut all my 45s uh, you know as I cut them to the proper length but uh, I don't want to stop take time figure out how to do that <laughs> that's the simple truth so I'm gonna cut them all at the one foot length and then come back and cut my one my 45s on them and uh, that's the first thing I'm gonna do and then I'm going to cut all my uprights I haven't counted them yet but I'll get these uh, one foot pieces cut and the 45s cut on them and show you my progress all right I got I got them all cut to one foot lengths and I got about uh, oh about half of them cut uh, with my 45s on each end and uh, I'm going to show you how I do that but I'm going to uh, mount this camera first all right uh, this is uh, just how I do this so I don't need any advice from the experts This uh, saw has a laser that shows you where it's going to cut. And what I do is cut the saw on and then adjust this according to where the laser says it'll cut. So uh, here we go. You might want to watch your volume. I don't know how loud this saw is going to be. Hold on, let me zoom you in. So you can see the laser. That's how I do it. And there we have both ends cut at a 45. Okay, there's 40. Now, I'm going to cut my uprights. And uh, since this represents both the left side and the right side, I need one, two, three, times two for both sides. So I need six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm not cutting the door yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to miter the corners of the door since I'm going to have these braces or whether I'm going to do uh, uh, butt joints. So I'm just going to cut the twelve uprights. But I want this to be three foot tall, so what I need to deduct from the length of these is the thickness of this top piece. And this bottom piece which should probably be three inches so I'll be cutting these uh, uh, let me measure the thickness of these two first and then I'll tell you what measurement this is I'm gonna try to do this around the camera so here's my uh, let's just say this is my upper piece and my lower piece and what I want to cut now is the piece that goes in between these two and I want it to come out three foot tall from the top of this to the bottom of this. So what I got to do together, that's right at three inches. I'm going to call it three inches. It's not quite, but that's close enough since I'm not building an airplane here. So uh, that'll be 33 inches that I got to cut these 
upright pieces here and I need 12 of them at 33 inches. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier before I started cutting my one foot pieces that uh, these uh, they're crap. So what I did was picked out the uh, the ones with the biggest bows in them since uh, I'm probably going to use most of this. Uh, picked out the ones with the bows and warps and uh, I used them to cut my one foot pieces out of because uh, a bow over the course of one foot is really not going to be noticeable but it would if I used them for my eight foot stretches. And uh, here's how crappy the wood is. Now let me tell you what the dirty SOBs did. Uh, wood nowadays has just gotten shamefully bad. And these aren't just a little bad, these are just... Uh, that's just about unusable. And what they did was stack these or the bad parts were to the inside. See how nice this looks? Let me take one apart. Actually, that one's a good one, so I'm going to save these for my, uh, for my long stretches. There's one. See how they stack that to the inside? That section there is unusable. I mean, you could use it, but it's going to look like crap. And uh, same with this one. So what I'm doing is I'm finding the ones with those kind of bad spots, and I'm going to cut my uh, 33 inches like, you know, from, the, from here back this way try to get the good out of it that I can I mean I'm not going to throw anything away but for this project it's going to be outside number one number two it's going to be uh, two by, you know two by twos are not the, the strongest things I wanted to make this light for my wife to be able to move around while I'm at work so I'm already up against the you know using two by twos plus being exposed to the weather so I want to make it as solid as I can out of the, the best of the 2x2s. Uh, just wanted to show you the quality of wood and what you got to do to get good wood out of you know what you get. And how sneaky they are about turning all the bad sides to the inside of the bundle. So the only way you can find out if you're getting good or bad is to cut them open and pick through them. And you know, they don't really like you to do that. I have when I when I really needed uh, you know, three or four really good ones. But uh, I just thought I'd show you that before I get started. All right, there's my uh, 12 upright, 33 inches. Now I'm gonna cut my uh, width, which is six foot. So uh, I need one, two, three, four, this is the top. Five, six, seven. I won't be cutting them from my door yet because uh, I'll have to wait till I get this put together. And there's there's such a variable with this wood and my cutting that until I get this together, uh, I won't measure the the pieces for the door. I do have these cut, but uh, okay. So that's seven six footers. Here we go. All right, there's all my cut wood. Now I have time to do one more thing. Let me uh, move you forward here and explain you. All right. This is a soft pine and uh, it has a tendency to split when you drive screws into it. So you have to drill pilot holes. And uh, let me see how I can orient this where you can understand what I'm talking about. So when you have this at a corner, you would be screwing basically straight up and down this way. Let me show you. That is how the screw would go in, like that, and right about there also. So you have to drill a pilot hole through here, or else it'll split the wood. But what I'm going to do, because I've used...
dust before and I know that it really is fragile so you got to take a lot of precautions uh, against splitting the wood. I'm going to drill a hole slightly larger than the screw I'm going to use which will be a drywall screw and I'm going to use a washer uh, to back it with on the head of the screw. Here, I'm going to shut this off. I'll show you what I mean in two seconds. Okay. This is an 11 64th bit. And I'm going to be drilling this away, just like that. And I have a washer on the, on the back side of my uh, 3 inch drywall screw. And I have a spade bit that I'm going to drill just a little bit down in here uh, because I want when a screw goes in I want the washer to be flush like you know what I'm gonna have to show you I'm gonna do one and show you what I mean to do without putting this in a vise. Can you see what I'm doing there? Okay, what that's going to do is allow the washer to be square. Don't want to get in there. There we go. Tu sabe? Capish? Yes, dear. I'm doing the video. Is the coffee still out? I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'll be right there. Okay, so I'm going to get all these done like that. The holes drilled. I'm probably even going to get the drywall screws in with the washers just so when I get to putting things together I've got everything where I need them. Since I am working with such an extremely limited amount of time uh, I have to work uh, as efficiently as possible so uh, I'm going to do all these just like that one. Both ends will have to be done like that. And uh, I'm going to upload this video and uh, see you next time. I think I can probably uh, two more videos and I'll have this all together. One will be the assembly and the other will be putting the chicken wire on. Or maybe three videos. The uh, chickens going in and getting drug around the yard and fertilizing my grass and whatever else I decide to put the chicken tractor on. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.